What's going on, y'all? We'll b -b 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 back at you again with <laughs> I just have to hold my breath there. Another reaction. All right, so. Before we get into the video, make sure you guys check out my Patreon. Over there you can find early access and full reactions of all the shows that I'm watching right now. That includes Shippuden, Bleach, and of course Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. I'm currently five reactions ahead over there on the Patreon. That means I'm five days ahead. And of course the full reaction part means uh, you can see the anime better, there's louder audio, and there's no cuts. So if you're interested in all of that, check out the Patreon. Patreon.com slash WolfReacts. The link is down in the, in the description below. And of course I'll show the link during the video. You know what I'm saying? And with that being said, Kakashi's new Sharingan is lit. Apparently it's the Mangekyu. And we have dissected that he was able to unlock the Mangekyu because, I mean, really when he when he, uh, when he he got his Sharingan, his best friend did die in front of his eyes, you know? So the, the emotional condition to obtain the Mangekyu has been always checked off with Kakashi. I think it's just because he's not in, uh, because he's not in Uchiha, it took him a while to unlock it, right? Uh, 20 or so years or whatever, how old, how, however old he is now. Uh, but now that he's trained for it, I guess, he's, he's worked on it, now he has actually unlocked his Mangekyu, which apparently is not a Genjutsu like fucking Itachi's is. It's not a Tsukiyomi. It's some, so, it's some kind of motherfucking black hole shit where he'd send something to another dimension. <laughs> which sounds fucking crazy. It sounds crazy as I say it out loud, but that's what it does. That's, that's what he said it does. He was able to... Take off fucking Daydara's other arm so he couldn't cast any jutsus, and he nullified Daydara's explosion. He nullified a bomb with with the with his new shit. So I don't know what Kakashi unlocked, but it's a crazy ass power, and I'm glad he's on our side. So there's that, and of course we have Gara, very dead. Uh, but of course, now that we know that Chio does possess a reanimation jutsu, where she gives her life for another life. It looks like she's about to use it, so as much as I love to see Gara alive again, I definitely am very sad that Granite Chio is giving up her life to do so. It does make sense, Gara technically is more pivotal to the story, but then again, we just met Chio and she's a motherfucking badass. She goaded! She's already goaded! She defeated one of the Katsukis with the help of Sakura, of course. So, it's sad. It's sad, but... You know what? She lived her life. She was. Uh, imagine she's this strong now. Imagine her as a fucking in her thirties being a kunoichi. Imagine how badass she was. I'm surprised they didn't make her the Kazakage. She's goddamn strong. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Um, yeah. So again, I'm pretty sad, but then I'm happy that Gar is alive, or gonna, he's gonna, she's gonna make him alive. So we're gonna see the whole ritual and what that pertains. And yeah, man, hype shit, emotional shit. Let's go ahead and jump into it. This is Naruto Shippuden episodes 31 and 32. Make sure y'all like, subscribe. All right, cool, man. Let's get into it. You are my well, that's a fucking interesting intro song. You are my friend. Uh <laughs> I love that. That's the best part of the intro song by far. You are my friend. I'm gonna just randomly go up to the people on the street and just be like, You are my f <laughs> That's godlike. Hey, I fuck with that intro. One more time. You are my friend! <laughs> Alright, sorry. If you're. Man, I don't care if I'm annoying. That shit's hilarious. Alright, let's see. It's so crazy. I'm literally seeing Sakura in a, in a different light. Like, I have so much more respect for her now, you know? I used to look at her with disdain, you know what I'm saying? But now I'm just like, I fuck with you. You feel me? She did her thing in this Asori fight, for real. This is fucking sad as fuck to see right now. Shit. 
I'm getting hit with the feels, y'all. I'm getting really sad right now, not gonna lie. Yikes. Hmm. It's like she's fading away while she's talking, bro. Oh. Whoa. Whoops. Whoops. I do kind of find out how interesting that, you know, the, the old Shinobi ways was there was just the mission, there were just the wars, there were just the killings. But it seems like it's shifting into a way where now it's more about the relationships, you know? It's about, it's about what you feel more than, more, than, more than what you have to do, you know what I mean? And Naruto is a perfect example of that. So. It's very nice. Shippuden is very nice. <laughs> Well, that was fucking beautiful and wholesome. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, man. Everyone's there? Sorry, y'all. I ain't gonna let you see it. <laughs> That's fucking awesome, though. They all came running for the Kazakage. That's sick, bro. <laughs> oh, you got some thotties, too? Gar Gar got thotties? Hey! <laughs> This is such a bittersweet moment. The Kazakage is alive and lives on, but they have to trade a life for it, bro. It's, that's not an easy thing, ever. Well, I can tell that Shippuden is going to be a lot more brutal. We didn't really have any deaths. And Oji Naruto, except for what, Kimimaro? You know? But he wasn't like, he wasn't like an attached character. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm being, I'm being extremely disrespectful right now. Third Hokage. That was totally disrespectful to me, I'm sorry, but... Yeah, but other, other than that, other than that... You know what I'm saying? But it's it's early in Shippuden right now, and fucking Gar died technically, and fucking Granny died. Like this is not gonna be easy. Make it count, Gara. Make it count. Kept you alive. Make it count, bro. Oh. Well, yeah. Talk no jutsu. That's Naruto's best one. I got you, Gara. Done.
Okay, before we move on to the next episode. Woo! That was a bit heavy, y'all. Mmm. Ah. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Not gonna cap. I got a little teary eyed a couple times there. You know, I have to use my hat to hide my face. Because I can't see, I can't let y'all catch me lacking. You ain't gonna catch me crying on this channel, you feel me? But I do, I do want to say something. Um, so, here's my thought process at first. When I, uh, when I learned of Naruto's Tak no Jutsu, right, and he has the power to change people and whatnot, um, I thought, I'm not gonna lie, at first I thought it was corny. Because it is. It, it, it is pretty corny, right? It's corny, and it's like, you know, it's, an, it's like another anime trope. But I thought about it a little harder, you know what I'm saying? And, look, they live in a world where people can cast elements, fire, water, fucking earth, and shit, right? They can bring back dead people, whether they want to or not, the fucking person, right? They can be immortal. They can be as fast as the speed of sound. They can do some crazy-ass superhuman shit in this show. So when the fact that Naruto has an ability that's extremely relatable to, like, us watching it by just talking to the person and having that be the most powerful thing, that is actually, like, a breath of fresh air in this type of show, you know? Rather than a fucking huge fucking, f f you know, 100-foot Rasengan, boom! No, Naruto's strongest jutsu is to talk to people and to change them. I think that's actually quite fucking awesome. In a show like this, where pretty much you can do whatever the fuck you want, you have a fucking eye that can see through, that can, that can read the future, and cast genjutsus and put you in a fucking illusion that'll fuck your, fuck your shit up for a week, you know? They're in that kind of world. And so, so, so the fact that Naruto actually has something that possibly no one else has in the show, perhaps... That's actually pretty fucking awesome. Just talking instead of casting some superhuman jutsu. So yeah, at first I thought it was corny, and it still is kind of corny, but it does make a lot of sense, and honestly, I wouldn't have it any other way in this show. So yeah, anyway, next episode. What? <sighs> this motherfucker is still alive? That was a clone too? How is it a clone? He can't cast jutsus. Alright, well, he's in Akatsuki, so I shouldn't be surprised. <clears throat> Fuck is that? is that? Is that one of the other Akatsukis? Oh. He's, a, he's an Akatsuki trainee. Okay. This mysterious fella. Well, I don't want to underestimate him. He is an, Akat he, well, an Akatsuki trainee, right? So I'm sure he's strong in some type of way. He seems like a klutz, though. <laughs> like one of those comedic relief characters. You know what huh? You are my friend! Ah. That's my favorite line right now. I'm just gonna randomly blurt it out. If you guys are annoyed by it, sorry, I don't care. That's hilarious to me. You are my friend! Ah. Oh, look at all the fucking... Villagers of the Sand waiting for their Kazakage. That's fucking beautiful, dude. And imagine... Just not too long ago, they were all afraid of him. But now they are all, I think, genuinely happy to see him come back. That, I, I gotta, I gotta, I'm clapping early, but I'm clapping. That's what's up, man. I'll clap again if they, if they clap too. You feel me? Let's go! Gara! Kazakage. Is he, what, what number Kazakage is he? The fifth? Fifth Kazakage? His fourth, because the fourth was his dad, right? If I'm not mistaken? Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah, dude. Those are genuine cheers, bro. That's what's up.
That's so nice and wholesome. I love seeing that. And low-key, that was Gara's dream, yeah? To be accepted by the by the village? That's all he wanted. All he wanted was to be accepted by the by the village. And now it's like not even a fucking question. He's a fucking hero, bro. Mmm, I agree. Pay respects first, man. Look at Gara being fucking considerate. God damn, what a character developed person. That's what's up. You love to see it. You love to see it. <sighs> damn. This arc was fire. Not only through battle-wise, being super fucking hyped, the animation was insane during the puppet battle, but, I mean, the emotional moments are very high right now. It's crazy. I fuck with it, bro. Shippuden's gonna be insane. I feel it. Oh, yeah! The fucking 10 days Orochimaru thing. That's next. Oh, fuck. That's gonna be Lee. Man, who cares, Shizune? He ain't never gonna learn if you keep him in the fucking dark. Who fucking cares? Send him into the fire, bro. That's the only way he's gonna learn. It's risky, but fuck it. <laughs> Like, the worst thing you could do is keep someone fucking hidden and not, you know, blossoming into their potential or whatever. That's the worst thing. Come on, Shizune. Feel me? Oh, did I open my eyes exactly when they opened their eyes? Oh, that's that's kind of fire. <laughs> yeah, just call me an anime character, IRL. Mm. This definitely hit Sakura the most for sure. Sakura legit had a war with Chio. She had a fucking movie. You know what I'm saying? Don't make it awkward now. Give each other a hug. The fuck is that his arm? Wait, oh man, they're retrieving it. That means they can reattach it. Fuck. Well, I guess they don't know that that he's alive. So maybe not. Oh. JK. Also, I kind of like uh, Toby's drip there. He's not wearing an Akatsuki cloak. He's wearing his own little fucking armor. I like that. Sai? Do we know who that old guy is? I don't remember. Do we know who, the, who he is? I don't know. Wait, what? He's practicing how to smile? What is that? What, what, what even is that? Hello? <laughs> what? I'm confused. <laughs> the fuck? Alright, well, I don't know who the fuck that was. I don't know who the old guy was. Apparently this new fucking kid's name is Sai. He's very strong, according to the old guy. Have we seen that old guy? I feel like we've seen that old guy before. No, I'm... I don't know. I don't know who he is, but, um, okay. I don't know what that was about. I guess we're gonna find out later. Um, pretty heavy episodes. Not gonna lie to y'all. You guys saw me a couple times. I was hiding my hiding my eyes there because it was tearing up a bit. Not gonna cap to you. You know what I'm saying? I was, I was getting teary-eyed, you know? I mean, how can I not? 
fucking they just went they just had a crazy ass battle it's crazy it sucks because when characters have crazy ass battles like chio did you want to see them live afterwards so you can see what else they have in the tuck you know what i mean but uh she died shortly after fuck well see it's making me all sad again <laughs> um all right well gara make it count she traded her life for yours Make it count, Gara. I know you will, but I'm saying it out loud just so he knows. You know what I'm saying? Um, also, another thing. Um, you are my friend! <laughs> Trust me. I will do that randomly throughout these Jupiter videos. Um, as, long as, it's, as long as the intro is that. As soon as I heard that intro, that is easily my favorite Naruto intro by far, by the way. Just that little fucking five second, you um, that's that, <laughs> I don't know why, that shit's just hilarious to me, I have no idea why, um, I'm sorry if it's too loud, I'm sorry if you're annoyed, I don't care, it's hilarious and I'm gonna keep doing it, so if you, if you randomly just fucking hear me blurt that out, just know, it's not my fault, it's the intro's fault, anyway, um, so, R.I.P. Granichio. Sakura, she has officially been redeemed. I can't look at Sakura the same anymore. She is fucking, I mean, geez, she's goaded, you know what I'm saying? She's fucking, what the hell? She's proven more to me than Naruto has, honestly, in this arc. What is, Naruto has, has only shown me his Odama Rasengan, and that, you know, apparently his Nine Tails cloak is uh, forbidden, and uh, he goes into a crazy mode. That's all he's shown me, you know what I'm saying? But Sakura has really shown, like, she, uh, she's, she's so more capable now, it's insane. Like, we definitely need her in the squad, for sure. So, yeah. Um, well. Uh, okay. The first arc is finished? Question mark? The next arc has to do with Orochimaru, yeah? We have to meet Orochimaru, and I guess whoever the side kid is. We have to meet Orochimaru in 10 days to meet with Sasori's informant. You know, a random fact that he told us. It could be a trap, yes, but I feel like Sasori's dying breath, it was it was for real. You know what I'm saying? Also, now that we know that he could have dodged Sasori, uh, he could have dodged uh, Chiyo's final blow, but he chose but he but he chose not to. Mmm, damn, fucking Sasori, man, what the fuck? Um, yeah, so that's the next thing that we gotta deal with. I honestly am excited to see Orochimaru again, as you guys may may not have known. Orochimaru was my top five characters in OG Naruto just because his theme music was sick. He's a very mysterious character. He's an immortal being. He has a fucking evil smirk upon his face. Sure, he's an asshole and probably a fucking serial killer murderer, but I liked him. He was one of my favorite characters. Every scene with Orochimaru in it was fire in OG Naruto. You know what I'm saying? So I had to, he had to be in my top five. You feel me? Um, so there's that. And. Um, yeah, so that that's what we can look forward to next. That was a great arc. That puppet fight was insane out of the membrane. I'll never forget it. The animation on that arc was fucking fire, and then the Sakura Redemption was... It was needed, for sure. So, amazing. R.I.P. Chiyo. Um, the farewell, farewell between Gara and Naruto is very wholesome. When, when Gara came back to the village and everyone was waiting outside, that was the most wholesome thing ever. I mean... Damn, I mean, that was definitely a, a super feel-good moment, you know? Um, so yeah, very nicely done. Nicely done, Shippuden. And I guess we're just going to see what happens next. Other than that, make sure you guys check out my Patreon if you're interested in early access and full reactions. I am five reactions ahead over there on the Patreon, other than YouTube. Um, that means I'm five days ahead over there. And of course, the full reaction part means there is louder audio, there is no fade on the video, you'll be able to see the animation in its beauty, in all its finest. And of course, um, there are no cuts. You'll be able to see the full episode from beginning to end, without the intro and outro, unless I'm showing a piece of the, a, a piece of the music, like, uh, You are my friend! Other than that, yeah. So if you're interested in that Patreon, early access, and full reactions, hit that up. The link is in the description below, and of course, I'll say it out loud, patreon.com slash wolfreacts. You know what I'm saying? Support your boy. I'm doing everything it takes to, to do this whole reaction thing. It's super fun, and I'm definitely enjoying myself. 
And of course, I think I have an awesome fucking community thus far. I know we're still small, you know what I'm saying? But so far the community seems pretty goddamn awesome. Your comments, I love them. You know, keep it going, keep it rocking, do your thing. And uh, I'll see y'all next reaction video, alright? Alright? Like and subscribe. Peace.